Good evening, hyperspinners. Today we're going to be setting up the Taito Type X system, so get ready. So let's go ahead and get started. Taito Type X is a difficult system to set up because essentially each one of these games are a PC game and you've got to launch each one individually. So let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, first you are going to go to hyperspin.com and you are going to download the themes and you can find them in this URL at the top here and you will find the hub is under downloads, hypermedia, arcade systems, typo type X and then you're going to get the XMLs, you're going to get the themes, uh, really anything that's here on the left here. So the wheel packs, the main menu, the pointer, everything there is in terms of media, you're going to download and then you will place that in your Hyperspin Media and Taito Type X folder as well as your main menu folder, uh, you know, as you're updating all of your media. So the next thing that you're going to want to do is set up HyperHQ and that is how you're going to get your type or Tato Type X folder in that media folder. So we're going to go ahead and do that first. What you'll want to do is open up HyperHQ, click on the main menu wizard and hit the plus sign and add Tato Type X as a system. You'll hit next a couple times and then you'll hit uh, finish and it'll congratulate you that you have a system and you will go to the wheel setting tab and select from the drop down Tato Type X. You're going to want to make sure that the PC game is enabled, execution is set to hyper launch, and then your executable is the PC launcher XE path. And we're going to move on. Wheel is all defaulted to normal and change your alpha to match your other systems which I've got to 0.15. Your navigation themes, what I'd recommend is reload background is checked and last game is also checked and wheels only are checked. We're gonna keep on moving and if you've got a standard uh, special art setup you're gonna want to make sure that each one of these are enabled this remember the special art is the frame that happens around my system and that is that so we're gonna go ahead and close hyper HQ and now you've got a media folder you go ahead and drop all your media in the proper uh, folder structure uh, I, I'm making the assumption that you've been following the tutorials uh, it's the same sort of setup uh, so far so you also want to make sure that the database folder is uh, up to date with the new database that you've downloaded off of uh, hyperspinfe.com and we're going to go ahead and get started with uh, Rocket Launcher UI. So what you're going to want to do is open up Hyper or Rocket Launcher uh, UI here and first things first you just want to make sure that your PC launcher uh, module is set up and if you haven't already double check the uh, my playlist here and learn how to launch a PC game it's essentially the same uh, look and feel so what I'll do is go to global and we're going to go to emulator you're gonna see that if we go to PC module which is or the PC launcher you can see there's nothing actually here uh, the only thing is if you don't see that row, you want to push the plus sign there and then type PC Launcher. You just want to make sure that the module is pointed to the module folder in Rocket Launcher and to your PC Auto Hotkey. So that's all there is to it for the pre setup. Let's go ahead and get to the nitty gritty. Scrolling down to Tato Type X. All right. So the settings that I've got here, under settings, I've got hide cursor set to false uh, because there are some light games or light gun games that I've got set up. Uh, hide desktop I've got set to global, which if you've been following my tutorials, you've, you know what all those global settings are. 
and the hide taskbar I've got set to false. I've also got restore and click on the exit. And that is it. The checks are set to ROM and MU. And we're going to keep moving on this. We're going to look at the bezels. I've got set to enabled, so that means they uh, are happening. And there's nothing different there. In terms of fade general, I've got everything set to default, so that means they are on. Uh, the Oh, well, specifically, fade in is set to false, and fade out is set to false. So that means that there were issues uh, making those launch... Uh, the, the fade and the fade out, so I turn those off. And everything else seems to be good to go. And that is all there is to it for these tabs. So those are the ones that we're going to be editing. So you're going to go to the emulator tab, and you are going to put in the game path by pushing the plus sign. And then the default emulator, you're going to open that uh, magnifying glass and click PC Launcher. Now, if you don't see that as a, an option, you can just push the plus sign and you know, push, you know, set up the emulator or the module manually, but you don't have to do that. So what I just showed you just a second ago with the global settings will cover that basis. Now, if you don't see that even as an option uh, for your PC launcher, you want to make sure that you've updated your uh, rocket launcher UI to the latest version, which you can see that in my Rocket Launcher tutorials, but under the Rocket Launcher UI, there's a button to update uh, your, your latest uh, version. So you can see the web uh, service is running and it's enabled. So whenever I open up Rocket Launcher UI, it will update to the latest version. So let's go ahead and uh, get started here. Under the modules tab, you're gonna click on PC Launcher now that you've selected uh, PC Launcher in the Emulators tab. And we are going to push this Edit Global Module Settings. So we're going to push the description here for you guys so we can see everything is alphabetized. And this is going to get a little tricky here. So I'm going to show you uh, a number of these fields. They are going to be different for each one of these games. and. We just gotta, you know, roll with the punches here. You may or may not have the same experiences I have, but this will get you in the realm, if not spot on. So, uh, one caveat is within each one of these games, you will also have to set up the uh, controls here. Which here, let me go ahead and close that, and then pull up one of these folders here, and we're gonna open up this first uh, game here. And something to keep in mind is you'll find something that looks like pad underscore config.exe. That's going to be where you're going to be setting up the controls for each one of your games. So that is the primary launcher. And, you know, you might have a different set that would, you know, basically notify you to create your controls. But for the most part, all you've got to do is find that pad underscore configure. Configure your keys by just you know clicking these uh, gray buttons and then assigning the, the keys that you want and that is uh, That's essentially it. So You can also set up the controls in the game itself and You know mess with some of the graphic settings, but I'm not going to go into that specifically because ultimately every system will be different and if you know I, I share you the the graphic settings, it's going to uh, vary, you know, widely. So, you know, just launch each one of these games manually and just make sure that they run and your controls uh, actually work. But it's literally just like a, a PC uh, setup here and you will be uh, configuring each one of these games manually. So the heavy lift here is getting things launching in uh, Rocket Launcher. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, hopefully get you guys through that. So we're gonna get, just go straight down this list and see what happens here. So first game here, you're gonna wanna make sure that the application is set up to your 
ah3-window.exe. And every one of these games, you'll have a game exe uh, file. And that is what your app weight exe is going to be set to. Now you don't have to push this uh, little button if you have if you just copy over um, you know these settings that I'll be posting on the FTP but that is something to keep in mind uh, when you do push that little button it will ask you for the file name and you can just click the game X file that's in your folder for that specific game and that's all that is your exit method is win close uh, application if you scroll over to the next tab the pre and post launch you're going to going to want to make sure that you go to your module extensions folder in rocket launcher and that is just basically a standard file here so if I go to module extensions and rocket launcher you're gonna find that there is a return focus XE uh, which is here and you'll just click that and you know that or select that as your path and that is all you'll need to get your game to uh, close out correctly so I'll include that on the FTP as well but I'm pretty sure that comes standard in the uh, rocket launcher UI updates so that is it for that game under the miscellaneous tab we've got the fade title as AH3 and that is it so we're gonna go ahead and move on uh, next game we've got the BF underscore launcher XE. Same sort of thing, we're going to game XE. Win close application. And post exit we're using return focus. And miscellaneous we've got battle fantasy. Uh... Alright, you'll find very similarities across the board here, but there are some nuances here. So here's the first one. Uh, this game, uh, how to create a bat file. So you're going to point to the bat file, game X, process close app XE, post launch is going to be the return focus, and miscellaneous is blaze blue. So what we are going to do here is I'm going to show you just the one game here with the, the bat file, but it's going to be the same look and feel. And here we go. So the bat file, let's just double check. This is the shift, oops. So the bat file, what we're gonna do is just open up a, t a standard text file and you're gonna type in echo off and then the type X underscore load loader game XE. And when you save that as a uh, well, when you save the, the text file, it will be a txt file. You'll just rename that file and change the extension from a txt to a bat file, uh, bat, and it'll ask you to convert, and there's your bat file. So that is essentially the launcher for that game. We're gonna go ahead and keep on moving. Next, we've got uh, this game here. It points to CB underscore launcher XE, and it's going to be win close application. You can see there's a brief differences uh, here. The post exit is return focus, and miscellaneous is set to game. Next, we've got uh, another racing game, uh, which that is interesting. The game here. I'm glad I'm doing this. The game here is set to a different XE, and that's because the, I'm pretty sure this game had the game XE there as well. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look here, and we will fix this thing right up. So the game XE. All right, so I went ahead and uh, got that started and fixed up. And what's interesting is, so the PC game where Mega Man uh, was a game.exe file name, uh, which that does bring some uh, 
curiosity here in general about how things work on the back end, but for what it's worth, uh, you know, just for PC games, just make sure that none of your PC games actually have a, uh, you know, game.exe as a uh, file name. I'm pretty sure that is how that happened, but that has been uh, rectified here. And all I did was change the uh, the game to game exe uh, for this uh, specific file. And um, who knows? I, I'm human here, so it could have been something else. But anyhow, the the correct path for this game is game exe, and your exit method is uh, default. And we're going to go to the post launch. There's nothing there, and the bezel is nothing there, and miscellaneous is nothing there. For what it's worth. Uh, when we are looking at the files for this specific game, there's also a jconfig exe. And much like we, we were talking about before, at the beginning, you are setting up your controls. This is another application. Just depending on what the game uh, has in terms of the, uh, the joystick setup, you'll just want to make sure that you're using that exe. So it's usually some sort of loader exe or configure exe and you just set up all your controls here and you will depending on the exe that you've got you'll change the resolution and uh, you know the height and the position it's sort of a pain uh, to be honest and every monitor will be different because everyone has different resolutions and different sizes so it's really just a guessing game but what you'll really want to try to do is use the resolution at 1024 and 768 and that uh, seemed to work best for me for all of these games. So all these other things, high resolution, all those are total options depending on your um, graphic card and your D input is essentially what you're wanting, you know, whenever that option is available. So I'm um, gonna go ahead and uh, keep going here and I'm sure you guys will have questions in the comments. Uh, definitely post those and we'll try to uh, work through those. I'm going to go ahead and keep on going. Next game, setting that to XB Loader XE. And the app Wait XE is Game X. And your Win Close application is your exit. Return to Focus is your post exit. And your Miscellaneous is DB1 for the fade title. And we are going to keep on moving here. I'm going to go ahead and open up that folder here so you can see it. So you can see every folder is very different, but you do see there is the XB configure XE. And oh, that's for the command line here, sorry. Let's see here. Game XE. That's the bin. Okay, so that's your monitor. So that's the setting up the monitor screen and the XB loader. Nope. So this one would have been actually changing the controls in game. So literally every single one is different and depending on the file or the you know the, the package that you you have you'll have to basically play around with it. So the uh, XB loaders or configure uh, sometimes you will get a GUI interface to you know essentially create the controls or you'll have to launch the game itself and you know update the controls that way. So this is looking specifically at, so the launcher is XB Loader XE and it injects the game XE uh, app. So that's why when I double click the XB Loader XE, it opened up a command prompt, but it was like, well, what do I do? And it launches that game X. So for what it's worth, um, we're just gonna keep on moving here and make the assumption that you've launched each one of these games manually and you've set up controls or used a you know some sort of configure control um to basically control you know the the, the games so if this tutorial isn't sufficient enough definitely let me know tato type x is a beast and we could talk through the controls in another video but i think the heaviest lift here is just getting it launching through uh, Rocket Launcher UI. There could be uh, questions on setting uh, the controls up for each one of these games, and maybe that's a totally different one, uh, but we're going to keep moving here. So Giga Wings 
we're going to set that to the exe uh, that is in there and we're going to select game.exe for the wait app and your exit method is when close application next we're going to go to pre-launch and we're going to do return focus and your miscellaneous is dub or y o k u s h i n i'm not even sure what that is but um uh, maybe it's japanese or something but uh, that is the fade title that is captured uh automatically when you push this button when you've launched the game but you can just type that in because that's that's what you need next game uh oh and, and speaking of which uh with you, um, you don't have these games set here yet, so you just have to push the plus sign and then select the game, and then then it will appear here and you select this. Uh, so the game here, we've got select for application. You're going to launch with the bat file, so this is going to be a good time to open that up so you can see the bat file. And let's see here. For version 2 here. I can click on the file here. Okay, um, let's see. So we are looking for We are looking for that file, and I'm having a hard time finding it. Here we go. Version 2. You're going to open up a text file, and you're going to paste this in there, or type it out, the uh, at echo off, hide debug dot bbs. I'll just have you, uh, you know, type that in and change the resolution, you know, however you see fit. That's the one that worked best for me, the 1360 by 768 and you'll type all that in you'll hit save so it's a text file and what you'll do is rename that text file uh, by clicking right clicking rename and then change the extension to dot bat so we're going to go ahead and uh, continue on we've got the dot bat there and everything else is default and we're going to move on so what you'll find is i've combine the uh, Tato Type X games as well as the uh, Nessica Live as well as the, uh, the Techno Parrot games. They're all essentially PC games and they're all a pain to set up and what I've done is I've just you know I picked and choose the ones that I felt were uh, worthy here. I, there's also plenty others out there but you know they crash or they you know they just don't work or I, I just didn't want them so next is uh, this game here. We're going to set that to the XE that's available there and choose the game app as game XE and win close app. We're going to return to focus and the fade title is Himora or type X. And this literally you just type it as uh, you see it there and that will save you some heartache. So next we are going to go to this game and let's see, this is another bat file. So we're going to go ahead and open that so you can see that. And this is, uh, let's see here. And there's the bat file. You're just going to type in at echo off and then the type X loader game XE. We're going to keep on moving. We got win close app. Return to focus and K of 98. Next game, we've got another bat file. We're going to open that up. Let's take a look. Same sort of thing at echo off type X loader game XE. You'll save that as a text file and then you'll rename that to a bat file. I'm going to keep on moving. Win close application, return to focus, and AHK underscore class, NGLU underscore class is the miscellaneous. 
So we're about half done. Next we have another bat file. I'm going to open that up. There's your bat file. Type x underscore loader game xe. Save that as a text file and then rename that to a bat. Wait x is game x. When close application. Return to focus there and KOF at maximum at impact regulation GAH is the fade title. So next uh, is the uh, techno parent. Now, so now this is interesting. Now if you choose to do something like what I've got here, um, this is the first techno parrot game and I've just pointed that to the techno parrot UI XE and the parameters because it does run on command line is dash dash uh, profile equals LGI dot XML which is a file that's in the folder that came with and uh, that's essentially the you know how that game's launched so I've got alt F4 to close and that's all there is so you, you're getting a little uh, sprinkle of uh, different systems here in here which is totally fine uh, here's another um, you know this one's uh, just the Tato type X here I feel like this is a techno parrot game but anyhow same sort of thing though uh, you are just going to open up the XE uh, GS2 and the exit method is alt F4 Everything else looks to be default, and we're going to keep on moving here. So, next one is another bat, so I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And this is the commander bat. So, you create a text file, type in echo off, type x loader game exe. Save that as a bat by renaming the extension. We're going to keep on going. We've got the game app is uh, the app weight is game X. Win close, focus, and there are five question marks A A H K underscore class T X G O U K E T U. I know this is a little dry, but at the end of the day, this is what you guys care about, and this I'm trying to get through this as quick as I can. So next is uh, you're going to be setting up Raiden 3 XE, game XE, win close. You're going to go to the uh, return to focus, and you are going to put in this guy here. We're going to keep on moving. Another XE, game XE, win close, focus, and you'll type that guy in there. Another bat, so these are the ones that I wanted to point out there. So we are looking at the Edge Destiny bat, and we are just typing in game.xe. And the wait app is going to be game XE win close focus and you'll type in that guy there keep in mind if you want to just push the fade title it will instruct you on what to do next but this is ultimately the output that it's going to be uh, creating for you so we are going to keep moving here going to select XE game XE win close return to focus and you'll type in that guy right there So now this game is interesting. So if you have a Windows 7 uh, PC, this can run just fine. But if you updated to Windows 10, this literally is the only game that broke uh, of all of these uh, games here. So if you've got the Windows uh, 7 still, it wasn't enough for me to, uh, you know, retroactive, if, you know, all of that. But, you know, if you are still on Windows 7... <laughs> This is how you set it up. So you, you choose the game loader all uh, RHXE. The app weight is your no cursor XE. 
and your close app is at the bottom. We've got return to focus, and that is it there. Next game, we are using a bat file, so I'm gonna go ahead and open that up so you can see it. And we are looking at that. We've got echo off type X underscore loader game XE. So you can see there is a same uh, sort of flow, if you will. You're going to change that text file to a bat file. And you see there's the configure XE. So these try to keep the same uniform, but every game is different. We've got a pad configure XE here, which is how you set up your controls. And that is it there. So we're going to keep going here. We've got return to focus. And we've got the fade title. Don't forget the period at the end. All right, next one. We've got a XB underscore loader XE, AH25XE, win close, and return to focus, and AH2. So I'm going to push the plus sign to get the new, you know, the next game out there. Here's the next one, and it's going to be loader bat. So we're going to go ahead and open up this. I remember there was some funky things happening here. This took forever to uh, figure out, but now the secret is out. We're going to just show you here. So this is the 2012 version. And we're looking for the loader bat. So let's see what you guys have in store for you. Loader bat. So you're going to just type in typex underscore loader ttx shell xe. You're going to save that as a bat, rename the extension from text to bat. And that is what uh, was the secret there. I think there was uh, also uh, DLC sort of additions, which was causing some uh, weirdness. But uh, I don't remember the details entirely there. You can see that's most likely why we've got all these other bats going on. but. I don't need to open those up to confuse you guys, but, uh, you know, that's that's all there was. I'm pretty sure the DLC just had to be dropped in there. We're going to keep on moving. Return to focus, and your fade type is that. Okay, we're going to move on. Next game, we've got another bat, so we're going to open that guy up. And it is this guy here, so there's your edit. Echo off, just like before, type X underscore loader, game XE. Game X is your app weight XE. When close, return to focus, and you'll type that in your paid uh, title. All right, we're almost done here. Next one is another bat so we are going to go ahead and open this guy up same sort of thing at echo loader game xe save that as a bat just by changing the extension and we've got game x process wait uh process close i should say return to focus and that is it on that guy Last but not least, we've got a, uh, no, this one's clean. You just select the x.xe file that's in the folder. And everything else looks to be okay. So, you know, if you follow Simply Austin, which I'm not sure where he went, <laughs> to be honest. But, uh, you know, some of this uh, was included in some packs that he had on some of, the, of his videos. But I don't believe he went through the... Uh, specific details of getting each one of these set up which no sane person would do that <laughs> so here here i am doing this um so that is it in the rocket launcher ui and i will save some of these uh hmm, i'll save some things in the emmy movies ftp maybe the uh focus uh xe uh that will be under the rocket launcher folder you know, just to follow the same sort of path. And mm, that might be it. I might 
also put in the Rocket Launcher, um, you know, settings file. We're gonna go ahead and do this while I'm recording here, just so you guys can see it, and uh, we go from there. So official Ninja Dojo. We're going to Hyperspin. We're going to Rocket Launcher. We're going to let's see the module extensions. We're gonna start throwing in here. There's the module extensions. Uh, there you go. You get you get the whole shebang. It's fine. I, I don't care. All right. So also in the settings here, rocket launcher settings. There's going to be a file for Tato type. So you can see here. So all of the things that we are just doing in rocket launcher UI. It essentially created a you know a bezel file like you know created you know mostly just the bezel file itself, but that's all going to be there. But keep in mind that it's mapped to the E drive, which may or may not be your your drive for your settings, so or just in general. So just kind of be careful there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop that in there though. So you got it, and we are also going to look at the PC. Uh, PC games because that's where essentially all of your um, your settings are. So, or sorry, let's go back here. Your global settings is what we're after here. And there we go. Rocket launcher. No, that's that's good. What am I after? What am I after? It's the settings. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. PC launcher or PC games, and we are going to go to. No, no, no. I'm in the wrong folder. That's why I'm like, where is this thing? So, in the PC launcher under modules. So modules, PC launcher, and this is going to get us all these settings so under games uh no it's uh pc launcher ini sorry this is all by memory here so the pc launcher ini is going to be where all of your uh you know your pc games are located and they are set up to the e drive so just kind of keep that in mind that you will have uh to change some uh things around there but you could probably just edit the pc launcher uh INI here that I have uh, loaded up here and you could just uh, you know take the shortcut way possibly uh, but do your due diligence you will want to make sure that your paths are updated uh, to match your setup and you will have to find the games themselves but that is <laughs> all there is to it and you have just heard me just ramble on words <laughs> for probably 20 minutes now of just paths and boring stuff. But I hope that helps you guys. I wish I had this kind of tutorial when I was setting this up. And we will catch you next time.